Ladies and gentlemen, before I even begin this video, I'm just letting you viewers know this will contain graphic, disturbing, and also inappropriate content on my part, just to let you know. Uh, so if you want to click away, please do. I'm just going to give you a moment to do that. Okay, moments expired. Uh, today, I was just catching up on clips of Inside Edition, and this one really popped out at me. Like, it really... It, the story you're about to see is really fucked up. It, it's, it's fucked up. And instead of doing my usual commentary, I'm actually just going to play the video, and I'm going to do my commentary afterwards. A desperate call to 911. It sounded like a freak accident. The man making the call says his girlfriend has fallen into a bucket of industrial strength drain cleaner. Her face was splattered with sulfuric acid. It's burning. Stop it, someone. Stop it. It's burning her skin. Okay, it's burning her skin. Yeah. Christy Sims slipped into a coma. Two months later, she awakened. And this is what she looked like. Her once beautiful face, now disfigured. I was being burned alive. Literally, the skin burned off of my entire upper torso. They used my stomach to rebuild my face. But there was another shock to come. When she came out of her coma, Christy learned that police had deemed the incident to be an accident. That's when Christy told authorities this was no accident, that her boyfriend had deliberately doused her with acid because she was breaking up with him. Police listened to the 911 call again. And there was this telling moment. Uh, is she getting her eyes as well? Uh, is, is it in your eyes? Yes. She said yes. She, it sounds like she needs to get in the shower. She needs to get this stuff off okay. of her. You can hear Christy pleading with him to rinse off the acid. <laughs> Listen as Christy's boyfriend ignores the instructions. Is she in the shower? Oh, no. Okay, where is she at right now? She's sitting, sitting on, the, uh, on the floor. They told him to rinse me off. He came over to me in a calm voice and said, baby, just sit here. They said not to rinse you off. Incredibly, the boyfriend, Andrew Fordham, let the acid burn into her skin for 10 full minutes before the ambulance arrived. I was a pretty woman. I think he wanted to definitely disfigure me. He wanted me to be unattractive for any other man. A jury found Fordham guilty of aggravated assault. At his sentencing in Hamilton, Georgia, Christy stared down the man who has destroyed her beauty. I'm so sorry for everything that you've been through for the past two years. And not in a million years would I have ever done this to you intentionally. This was an accident. I did not believe his apology. I did not feel any sincerity whatsoever. Neither did the judge. It will be 20 years to serve in the state penal system. Christy now has to wear a compression mask following dozens of reconstructive surgeries. No amount of time would justify what he did to me because I have to live like this for the rest of my life. Okay, y'all just saw that clip. This was... This is just disturbing, and sadly, I've seen a lot of these acid attacks in recent days, unfortunately. This one just popped out, and first and foremost, I want to say to you, Christy, you still look beautiful, girl, okay? You keep your head up, no matter what. But this is just the reality and the danger of the times we live in. The, the, this story... I, I don't even know what to say other than, first and foremost, to the man who did this to you, Christy, hell is too damn kind for him. It's too kind for him. There are certain things in this world that are just unforgivable, and there are also just certain things you, you just shouldn't do. This... 
this is one of them. If you want to break up with some, if someone's breaking up with you, you don't do this shit to somebody. You just don't do this shit to somebody. This story was fucked up. It really was. I I hope you're doing a lot better, Christy. Like I said, keep your head up, girl. And to all the people out there watching this video, especially the women now, learn something from this. I mean, you have no idea who people really are and what extents they will go. Because clearly, he he didn't just want to disfigure her. He wanted to make this woman suffer. He wanted to make her suffer and die. And if I were the judge, I would have put him, I would have sentenced him to death. I would have sentenced him to death because this is just not a simple assault. That's attempted murder. How the fuck does some, how the fuck does a judge decide it's just assault? Because she could have died. And she's very, very blessed and very lucky that she did not. Like I said, I, I have nothing but empathy and sympathy in my heart to you, girl. And to the man who's in prison, I hope... I, I'm, I'm against violence, so please don't take this the wrong way. But I hope somebody kills him in prison. I really do. Because this is just not forgivable. And this is just one of the most fucked up things you could do. And sadly, this is just a, a sign of the times we live in. So like I said, y'all, be, be careful who you trust. Be careful who you date. Be careful who you are around. Because you never know something like this could could happen to you. It, could, it may not even be your boyfriend. It could be your girlfriend. It could be your mother, your father. It could be one of your siblings that does this to you. Like, like I said, I mean, all my love out to you, Christy. Keep your head up, girl, and thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.